I would say Paul has definitely a lot of potential. Captain's Log, what up everybody? This is Polly Wog. This is the vlog, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here foam rolling my legs because they really took a beating the other day. Hamstrings are like super tight. Um, so here's the deal, folks. I've decided to do a competition this April. Um, I've done three in the past. I've done men's physique with the classic board shorts. <laughs> But um, I've decided to do Classic Physique, which I'm really, really excited about because um, first and foremost, it'll give me the opportunity to build my legs. And because, uh, yeah, training for Men's Physique, quads don't really matter because they're covered. So um, because of that, my quads shrunk down. They look like hot dogs. They uh, No, I'm just kidding. They don't look like hot dogs, but... Um, they just uh, bother me. Kind of, they look really inactive, and um, so yeah, I have a bunch of reasons for why I'm competing. Um, I'm gonna share with uh, those with you. Um, so yeah, I'm a little. I'm kind of a goofy dude. So I don't know. You guys might not like it. I'm pretty goofy. Hopefully, uh, my my goal is to entertain you guys. But the main goal is to, ow, basically share information about nutrition and meal prep. Um, because, like, there's so much stuff you can learn just, like, seeing what other people do. So, um, please comment, like, subscribe. Do everything you can to interact. <laughs> do everything you possibly can, folks. I'm thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Just kidding. But, uh, mm. basically, like, um, it's going to be fun because I really like filming stuff, but... Yeah, now I don't really need to set up cameras and everything. Getting up a little extra early today because I got to do a little cooking. <laughs> so, you know, you got to get up nice and early to get that cooking done. So, uh, we got some tilapia fillets. <laughs> These are like 10 bucks at Winko for quite a few servings, let me tell you. And, uh... Pretty crazy because it's 100 calories and uh, 20 grams of protein for that ass. Yeah, so I got uh, some parchment paper on this here uh, extra large bacon tray and uh, what you want to call it. Um, that's uh, just pepper on there and a little bit of sprinkled um, lemon. Why am I not putting flavor on there, you ask? Well, because uh, every meal doesn't mean, <laughs> every meal doesn't need to be, you know, a special treat from the heavens above. You don't have to have a reward every for every meal. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you're eating for the purpose, so it's like, and this stuff is like pretty light. It's like 100 calories, so you can eat through it pretty quick. You don't have to like, sit and chew forever but i did want to show you this though check this out this is how i stay on track with my uh sups and pills you know this is part of the prep process so today is a uh, friday morning it's just vitamins and <laughs> flexitril and you know uh, vitamin d and digestion stuff and that's about it so with the oven set at 375 i'm gonna throw this sucker in Whoa! It's gonna go in there. Uh, whoa, God, it's hard to do with one hand, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be in there for, you know, I'll check it at 25 minutes. Cooks pretty quick because it's thin. You know? So now I gotta cook breakfast for today, but hey, Chewie, guess what? Hey, Chewie, guess what? Leaping Louie. This dog loves to jump and cuddle. We love you. We adopted this animal. She's a senior citizen. We love uh, this animal. Ah, Chewy. I got to feed my Chewy. She's getting 500 calories a day. <laughs> ah, Chewy. Chewy's a big little dog. She's a big uh, little uh, dog. Oh, yeah, baby girl. Shamar Moore and baby girl. <laughs> so these are some egg whites. Uh, this is eight egg whites. I uh, actually got a little bit of yolk in there, but uh, this is going to be half my breakfast. 
going to eat it with some, I don't know, some pepper. You know, man up and eat it. All right, Chewy. I looked away for one second and Chewy knocked over her new bag. She started eating out of her new bag. Chewy. It's not what you do. Ah, Chewy. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that's been about in there, um, what'd you call it? 22 minutes or so. They're looking, um, pretty done. These suckers do not take that long to, uh, you know, cook. They do not take that long. Donuts. Um, I got my egg whites ready to eat up too right here and uh, I got these ones going too I gotta grab those suckers but um yeah yeah so I'm gonna weigh out about um man this stamp thing I'm always in a rush to get a food scale so I always go to Walmart and I get the crappiest ones this one's pretty good but I just screwed it up but I, I'm weighing out five ounce increments um of this tilapia to distribute accordingly I'm waiting on some new Isolator Fitness uh, containers, too, in the mail, man. But, uh, for now, this will work out. The one thing that kind of sucks about um, fish is, like, it kind of bothers people around you when you're when you're prepping it and eating it. Um, let's say you go to work, you pull out some fish. Hey, guys, I'm going to eat my fish today. I would recommend not throwing it in the microwave because that will fill up the entire office or wherever you're working. And, yeah, it'll become popular pretty quick. So, um... Eat it cold or something. I don't know. Or go outside to eat it. <laughs> I gotta say, if you uh, cook them nice and a little longer than you should, and it makes them nice and crispy, these are pretty good. They're thin. They're not hard to chew. Like, you know, chicken, you'll chew and chew and chew. And it's, man, I'm chewing. If you cook it wrong, that is. But yeah, 375 degrees. Uh, it was about 22 minutes, you know. A little canola oil spray or something. And some pepper. It's nice and crunchy and thin. Put this with some shredded lettuce. It'll be real good. I get these. Uh, I get these bags of shredded lettuce from Winco. It's like ninety-two cents. Um, shredded lettuce, you know, it's not really that nutritious. Like, it's what you want to have the dark, leafy green vegetables. But I mean, this will really add that uh, crunch and whatever to your meal. It makes things a lot more palatable. So yeah, get that. You know what I mean? It's it's cool. You know, it's like kind of like a. Uh, what was that? It was like a Big Mac. Uh, back in the day, you eat a Big Mac. It had the little shredded lettuce. Love me some shredded lettuce, kids. Yeah, here's kind of a complete meal. I threw in some green beans and that has some brown rice that I cooked uh, earlier. And then and the tilapia's in there. So I'll just stir it all up and it'll be a nice, nutritious meal. One of those meals, you eat it and you just feel like energy from it. It's pretty dope. Quick oatmeal, y'all. You ready for some quick oatmeal? Check this out. Wee! So I got this, uh, you know, just your typical Quakers. Uh, we gotta abolish the Quakers and ban them from our community, the Quakers. Uh, quick one minute. Ya dig? Um, so we got about a cup and a half or a cup in there. All you gotta do is add some government water straight from your faucet. From your loving government. Get you nice, there you go. Yep. A little bit so that, so it's all submerged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So you just throw it in the microwave. And I've been doing, um, let's say, I'm going to do 250 instead of three minutes. Just 250 on high in the microwave, kids. When it comes out of the microwave, it's going to be hot as shit. So uh, get it out with cushion, but then uh, stir it up so it all mixes up. You know, it doesn't get all hard and stuff. Give it a nice stir job, Steve Jobs. Oops, yeah, yeah, mix it up a little bit. Let it cool off unless you want to burn the top of your mouth. And, you know, add some black pepper. And uh, if you're dieting, just use black pepper. If not, you could add raw honey. Or you could do what you do, kids. We love you, Chewy. Oh, my Chewy, my wonderful Chewy. I hope you guys like the little tilapia delio. I'm really excited to be doing this meal prep. And uh, right now, I'm going to share with you guys uh, some reasons I wrote down for why I'm going to compete. Ow. And uh, none of these reasons include uh, going pro. Um, nothing against going pro, but um, for me, that's not um, what I want to try to do right now. But here are some reasons I have for deciding to do competition in April, classic physique. Community involvement. 
I really like doing these shows. Just it's awesome. You get to share your experiences with people. It's just it's a cool way to bond with people and meet new people, and network, and just um, you know another reason on here is like have a purpose because uh, this winter has been really hard on me. I'm just I don't deal with winter good, and um, it just I feel like a lot of people aren't motivated in the winter, and so as a result, I get kind of I feel like I'm stuck or whatever. So at least. Um, Doing a competition, it's like I don't really have to depend on anybody. I just have to depend on myself, and it gives me a purpose through the winter. Ow. Sports camaraderie. It's just fun being competitive and um, just sharing your experiences with other competitors. So that's, like, mainly what I want to do here with this vlog and uh, entertain y'all. Collaborating with local businesses, always fun. It's great to do. Um... Community is huge, you know what I mean? Um, increased collaboration with Cyvation, my sponsor. Like, if I'm not doing a competition and I'm not dieting, it's, like, hard for me to uh, focus on getting my body, like, in a better uh, condition than it has been. So, like, this way, it's just a fun way to incorporate Cyvation because I'll be, like, actively doing new things in fitness and everything. So it's just really exciting for me. I don't know. It's fun. The whole social media aspect is fun. Um, meeting new video clients. I have a, a business that I run. I do videos and stuff, and it's a great way to meet, just get exposure and meet new people. Um, I'm going to be doing some cool video stuff with Chrome. Chrome is like my team for competing. Brooke is my main trainer. Um, Jeremy is a trainer. Uh, Derek is going to be a trainer for me, as well as uh, Chris is going to be helping me post, so you'll see that too. But yeah, pretty much one of the biggest reasons uh, I want to do this uh, classic physique is I really need to get my legs back, and I just think legs are such an impressive thing on, on a physique, and um, I can't wait to like, you know, really watch them grow, so uh, let's see, I'm like... 13 or 14 weeks out, so I've already started the awesome leg workouts with Brooke, and they're pretty intense, and it's been hard for me because my legs have been so inactive, so <laughs> uh, you're going to watch them grow and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be good times. I do a good job. I do a good job. I'm, I'm telling you, I do a good job, you know, so hope you guys don't mind the goofiness, and if you do mind it, just leave a hater comment. I don't care, you know what I mean? Um, I just want to be entertaining for you guys and because uh, there's a million people doing this thing on YouTube It's like but I want to do this to document it for myself and just to share with the YouTube community You know what I mean? And we can all learn from each other So yeah, thanks for watching y'all. Please subscribe uh, If you want to you click that little bell What is that little bell on the uh, notification so you get the notifications? If you want to follow, follow me on the IG. Oh, my God. All right, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.